here I am in the downstairs and behind me you see a wall over there and then here's the east wall behind me and then that would would be south so one thing that I I had to do before any of this construction by the contractor was to put in pilings in the corners now the way we did this or what we started with I had three quarters of the building which was old construction it was like block on footer which is proper for a second story addition but this corner over here is slab on grade and it's it's not got enough support for you know second story so what we did or what I had to do before construction was to add pilings in the corners so I'm gonna go over a little bit of what I had to go through for that and just so everything would work out for having enough support you know a nice flat floor upstairs we have a single 42 foot LVL I think that's what it's called uh, going the whole length of the building so on the, the slab on grade parts the, the LVL spans that last quarter of the building giving us you know sufficient support without any load bearing on the walls over that 10 feet or so this is a front corner piling just to prove that it's the dimensions that we need there's the one foot you can see there and two feet that's two foot across and there and we can get it in the corner Up there in the corner come across there's two foot out there and if you compare it to the wall which you can't really see the wall lines up with 16 inches I plan on doing a uh, eight inch by eight inch round sonar tube, so that'll place that in the middle of it, at least in this direction. And then the other direction is the same thing. If I stick that in the corner, eight inches. Come on, there we go. Eight inches lines up with the wall there. And you can see a foot, and there's eight inches in the corner of the wall is right right here you can see the wood yep so 24 by 24 and I'll pour it 12 inches thick I'm gonna do a uh, out of 24 inches here I'll put a board in so I don't have to pour quite as much concrete and that's a lot of work there's a bucket for scale, not that that really matters. And it also has to be 42 inches deep. So 42 inches to where the ground line there is, you can see. So that's good for depth too. Right, there's a hole 24 inches across. Just trust me, it's 24 inches the other way too. <sighs> Two more bags to go.